finger power. So badminton, because the racket's so light and the shuttle's so, so light, to get maximum power of your shot, you actually want to learn to relax, squeeze, and then relax. Rather than doing big shot, big swing like this. You get more power from doing squeezing and sh short swing. And the same as uh, um, the smash. So rather than do big swing like this, if you watch a professional, they will finish their swing with their hands still up there. And you often see the racket bounce back. Just because like, the, the momentum of the racket is so great, and because they squeeze, the racket will bounce back. So you know when you're doing good finger techniques, when the racket bounces after the squeeze. So imagine if you, I don't have it here, imagine if you have a towel. If I was to hit you with a towel, I won't hurt you as much if I do a big swing with a towel, right? Ugh, you imagine a big swing with a towel. But if I do like a little flick like this, it will hurt a lot more. So think of that analogy in terms of like badminton swing. So rather than if the shuttle come, rather than me doing a big swing like this, I can just go squeeze. So do like that flick, right? And the towel will hit you and it bounce back. And that's the same principle when it comes to badminton and power generation. So finger, soft hand and squeeze. Soft hand, relaxing hand, and squeeze. Okay, have a wonderful day, bye-bye.